All right, we're on page 182. We're gonna be looking at example four here, test the commutative property. So we gotta find GH and HG. So notice right away that G is a two by three and H is a three by two. Okay, so when we find the products, GH is gonna be a two by two. That's gonna be a two by two matrix. And when we do HG, we got a three by two times a two by three. Our product is gonna be a three by three. These two matrix matrices, GH and HD have totally different dimensions. So they're not gonna be equal. So we already know GH is not equal to HG. Okay, it's not commutative, okay? You cannot, H, GH is not equal to HG. And we're gonna show that right here. We're gonna do G times H. Okay, so what I do when I do G times H is, okay, it's gonna be a two by two, so I know I only have to go two, down two, so I do one, three, negative five, one, three, negative five, one, three, negative five. My second row is four, negative two, zero, four, negative two, zero. Okay, so I write my entries from the first matrix like that. And then from the other matrix, it's always first column here. So it's gonna be times two, negative two and one. And you add all of those together, it's gonna be times two, negative two, and one. Add all of those together. And then my second column goes in my, you know, second column here. So it's gonna be three, negative eight, seven. Three, negative eight, seven. Okay, so I have two plus negative six minus five. It's be negative four, negative nine. And then I have three minus 24 minus 35, which is negative 56 here. Here I have eight plus four is 12, plus zero is 12. And then we have, that's multiplication there, 12 plus 16 is 28, 28 plus zero is 28. So that's GH, okay? And then in the next video, I'll show you how to find HG, so HG, Okay, you have two, three, negative two, negative eight. You're gonna have, you're gonna need a lot of space for this one. You're gonna have a three by three matrix, so you're gonna need a lot of space. 